Hi, this is Walford Kaufman bringing another devotion. Have you ever been around a murderer? That's right. Have you ever been around someone who took somebody else's life? Well, as a child, my grandfather was a guard. Now they call them correctional officers. And it was Watery River Correctional Center. It was down in the Rembert area of South Carolina. And it was a minimum uh, security type facility. Yes, on that farm, they raised crops for the prisons, uh, had cows, dairy, and all this kind of stuff. And uh, I was able to go and visit my grandfather there several times. And I remember being there one time and I needed a haircut. He said, oh, I can get you a haircut. And there was one of the prisoners there that was cutting hair. Got my hair cut for 50 cents. And he did a good job. And I tell you what, he was a very pleasant man. And so after we finished, I was walking away and with my grandfather. And I asked my grandfather, what was he in prison for? And my grandfather looked at me and said, he killed somebody. He killed somebody. That nice man that just cut my hair killed somebody? Yes, he did. And so how awful that was. In a fit of anger, he had took somebody else's life. But as I've grown and matured some, and as I read the Scriptures, I find out I'm a murderer too. I have hurt other people, not, not just hurt, I have damaged people. See, in the Scripture, Matthew 5, verse 21 and 22, look at this. You have heard that it was said to the people long ago, you shall not murder. No, we shouldn't do that, right? But continues, and anyone who murders will be subject to judgment. That's why that gentleman was in that prison. But I tell you that anyone who is angry with a brother or sister will be subject to judgment. I've been angry with people. And again, anyone who says to a brother or sister, Raka, had to check that out. It says down here that Raka, that means as an Aramaic term of contempt. I've said something bad about somebody. Is answerable to the court. And anyone who says, you fool, will be in danger of the fire of hell. So as I read this in other scriptures, maybe I didn't take a gun. Maybe I didn't take a knife. But the things I have said, the things I have thought about others, I have been a murderer too. And I need to pay that price, don't I? So today I want you to think about it. Do you need to be careful about what you think about others? Do you need to be careful about what you say about others? I know I need to. So many times, especially when they've hurt me, it's so quick to come back and think things or even say things. But I don't want to be a murderer. I don't want to have to pay that price. I want to be able to be a child of God that people know that I can forgive. And that is so hard. But that's what I'm called to do, to forgive and to love. I don't want to be a murderer. I don't think you do either. You want to be following the will of the Father and the example that Jesus, that Jesus lived out to love everybody. Let's pray. Father, forgive us, for we all have been around a murderer. We see that murderer every time we look in the mirror. Forgive us, and Lord, thank You that You can and will forgive us when we confess our sin and let us live a life now, a witness for You. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, when I look in that mirror, I don't want to see a murderer anymore. Do you?